Welcome to the unboxing video of the Renaissance Rhino. We're going to have a look inside this beautiful gift box that you'd get from Renaissance Rhino if you managed to order one of these guys. You see once we unwrap it we've got all of this recyclable material which uh, according to WWF any project they work with needs to have and uh, this is a banana leaf recycled box. Well let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, first of it is the instruction manual and uh, the first piece to come out of the box you see is the is the base plate. Now if you have a look there uh, every single one is numbered. Uh, this one's number 13 of 1500 limited edition that's all that will be made of this particular product which is quite nice and 20% goes to the WWF in support of their uh, Saving the Rhino initiative. So the first page is the parts list and then we start off with the back kind of the main skeleton so that's it the right way around and then I say let's turn it over just like the instructions and we'll start with the front legs. So let's get going. following this and trying to assemble it with me. So we slide in all four front legs. And then this little, this little plate bar goes in there to lock, lock it all together. So you flip it around, it can't fall out. And then likewise on the back legs, you see the back has got all this recessed piece at the, at the base just to, to tell them apart. Back legs are also quite a bit bigger and fatter. You'll see you'll pick up a few fingerprints from the assembly process, which is perfectly normal. Uh, you can polish those out afterwards just with any kind of smooth dishcloth or polishing cloth. All right, so there we've got the main frame and legs assembled, we can now uh, slide this into, into, the, into the base. This can sometimes be a little bit tricky, I believe. We get each of the four legs in. There we go. Jiggle it. Ah, there we go, that's in, and then you just slide it backwards, and then that, that locks it onto the, onto the base. All right, good. Looks like I'm jumping ahead of myself in the instructions. That's it in there. Now, we're gonna go on to the next piece, which is the head. All right. Let's put the, uh, first the neck. That's it, that's the neck piece there. And the head goes onto that. Beautiful as you see it all kind of taking shape. Huh? Alright, so that's the, the neck and the head. And then moving on from there, so we've got the shoulders. Okay, we're still a bit ahead. Let's put the shoulders in. And then also the tail the, the, the tail piece. Slides in the back there. Right. Okay, looking good. Now we go on to the headpiece. You see this one is this one's lovely. The ears there it really starts to take shape once these go on. Just locks in there and steadies up the whole head. You'll see you'll have two of these. You'll have a bigger one and a smaller one. The bigger one goes at the back. And the smaller one at the front. Yeah, just in there like that. There we go. Look at that. And then the horns are here. Okay, you might get this wrong a couple of times. If a rhino looks funny, it's probably because you've got the horns the wrong way around. Big one at the front, uh, arching backwards. There it is there. Made it made made in brass. Kind of really draw attention to 
how precious these horns are. Uh, these horns are the reason that rhinos get killed. They are worth three times more than the live rhino currently. So there's really a lot of work to be done to, to change that situation to protect the rhinos. Each one comes with this sort of custom made, made plaque which you can personalize depending on who you want to give it to. And then that, that gets kind of mounted onto the base over there. Okay, moving, moving on to the, onto the back. So each one's got a little, little number which is coded to numbers on the spine here. This is number one. This is number two. Okay, moving down. Number three. And lastly, number four. And that's, that's it, there we have it. The Renaissance Rhino, complete, looking beautiful. Weighs about three kgs, really is a magnificent piece of art. Thanks for watching.